What we have here is a question on working out the equation of a regression line. We've got a farmer who collected data on the annual rainfall of x centimetres and the annual yield of peas, p tonnes per acre. And the data for annual rainfall was coded using v equals x minus 5 all divided by 10. And we got the following statistics. SVV, SPV, SPP, and then we've got the mean of the data P, and we've got the mean of the data for V. And what we've got to do is find the equation of the regression line of P on V in the form P equals A plus BV. Now, if you'd like to have a go at this, just pause the video. Or if you're having problems with it, you can always fast forward to the section then that's giving you problems. OK, well, let's just see how we would go about a question like this. Well, normally, you, when you're asked to do regression lines, you're given data of the form X and Y. And I've just got a recap here, essentially, of what's going on. If your y-axis is the vertical axis and your horizontal axis here is x, we often talk about y on x. And the equation, or the regression line here, has the form y equals a plus bx, where b is given by the statistic sxy over sxx. And the constant a is given by y bar minus b times x bar. So when it comes to doing this kind of question, all we've got to do is just kind of transfer this kind of method across to the variables that we're using. So because we're doing p on v, it's as if we've got our vertical axis here with p and our horizontal axis then as v. We've got our regression line then and the data will be scattered about this regression line. And this line that we're going to work out, the equation of it, is going to be p on v. So when it comes to that, the y value you've got here is going to correspond with p and the x value is going to correspond to the v. All right? So we've got an equation that's going to have the form p equals a plus bv then, where b okay, is going to equal, well, it used to be sxy over sxx, but it's now going to be svp, or you could write it the other way around because I can see that that statistic is up here. So it's going to be SPV. You get exactly the same result whether you did SVP or SPV. And then this is divided by, instead of SXX, where we had X, it's now the V. So it's going to be SVV. Well, we'll work that out in a moment. But also, when it comes to working out what a is, okay, a was equal to y bar minus bx bar, but when we transfer it over to the new system, I'm going to say that and a will be equal to, well, instead of y bar, it's going to be p bar, and then it's minus b times what was x bar is now v bar. OK, so we just need to work these values out. So I'm going to remove this now just to give me some space. So when it comes across here then, to carry on with b, we've got that b equals spv, which is 1.688. And then that's going to be divided by svv. svv is 5.753, 5.753. And if we do that division, we end up with that equaling 0.2934, and so on. 
Now for A then, A is going to equal the mean of P, which is 3.22. And then we've got to subtract B, which we've just found out is this value, 0.2934 and so on. And we're multiplying that with V bar. V bar is 4.42. Just squeeze that in there, 4.42, I hope you can see that. Well, when you work that out, you end up with 1.9231 and so on. So now that we've got the values of A and the values of B, we can substitute them into here and we therefore have the equation, okay, but I just have some kind of intro, therefore equation of the regression line regression line okay is and it's going to be p equals a which we now know is this value i'm going to write it though to three significant figures so it'll be 1.92 and then plus b times v so b is a positive value so if i write that to three significant figures that's going to be plus 0.293 and then it's going to be multiplied by v and if i just put 3sf there three significant figures it tells the reader i hope that each of those values are both given to three significant figures okay well there you go that's how you would work out the regression line then of p on V.